Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hopper Realtors. Today is a very exciting day today because today was closing day. One of my past viewers, this is their second house that they became clients of mine and have purchased. And I'm super excited for them. This is a gorgeous home, it's built by Highland Homes. This is the 216A plan, built in the master plan community of Esperanza in Bernie, Texas. Love this town, love this community. And if you've been watching my videos and you want to use me as a realtor, uh, the best way to do is look in the description box. I'm gonna have every way possible to reach out to me and I'll be happy to help. Anyways, let's go check out this house. We're gonna start the video, the tour of the video out front. Let's go check it out. All right, as you see from the outside, this is absolutely beautifully done home. Highland always builds a gorgeous home. We're kind of the newer section in uh, Esperanza. So you're up a little bit high, great views of the Texas Hill Country. Highland and Monticello both build on the larger lots in this section. So really glad my clients got a larger lot. God, that's a beautiful house next door to them too. Absolutely love it. Uh, this house does have a three car garage on it. I'm gonna get the actual square footage in the description box. So make sure you definitely check that out. But I love this community. It is literally a uh, eight minute drive to the downtown uh, Bernie, Texas, which is a historical town. Gorgeous, lots of things to do. The amenity center is just uh, a block or two that direction. Dog park, uh, I've done a mini tour of this community. Absolutely love it. Anyways, let's head on inside. It does have a beautiful entryway. I love the details and the light fixture they have there. And also make sure you hit that like button. It definitely helps out a lot. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. But yeah, this is a beautiful home. One of the things you notice right off the bat is the tall ceilings, the archways. It's just really super cool having these long hallways right when you come up in. And they got an office right up front with the nice little French doors. Once again, tall ceilings. They got can lights everywhere. Gorgeous tall baseboards. So uh, beautiful art windows. So this would be pretty much his view from behind a desk. And also up front, you have a really cool little guest bedroom set up. A little guest bedroom with another tall window. It's gonna have uh, its own sink right there, a little linen closet. And now you see no closet. Let me get the light there. All right. They are gonna bring in somebody to build their own custom closetry stuff. That's gonna all start happening tomorrow now that they've closed on the house. So every closet we see in this house will not have anything in it as of today. This is kind of a Jack and Jill bathroom where you're opening up and they'll share, but we're gonna to get to that in a second. So I don't wanna miss out on this other cool part about this plan. Remember this is a 216A plan. Oh, another thing, my clients are planning to bring in their own custom uh, barn doors. So the builder worked with them and is a great builder. Uh, to be able to pre-frame everything so the barn door just be able to put in real easy so it's really nice having a builder that is able to work with the client they built this house from dirt and uh that's really neat of them all right this is going to be a little media room set up so when you have the barn doors that's going to cause a lot of privacy pre-wired for some speakers up top and really cool having a media room all right, coming back around, just the super tall ceilings everywhere. Gorgeous uh, flooring. But now we're gonna come into that uh, other bedroom that's gonna be sharing that bathroom we were just in. Once again, this is gonna have its own private sink. And then share this tub, sorry, I'm hitting the lights as I go here. And they'll share the toilet the tower shub comp tub combination and it's really pretty there's the sink from the first bedroom and of course this has its own closet as well which is going to have its own custom cabinets closet tree in in uh by this time tomorrow they're gonna start working on that it's why it was important for me to do this video today all right check out this kitchen and living space just tons of space 
super tall ceilings, can lights everywhere. They are gonna bring in their own custom pendant lights that's gonna hang down and the way they described it, it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. But I love this two island concept where you can have your, like your entertainment island because we all know if you're hosting a party, uh, everybody's gonna be gathered around this main island and then you can have your sink island here because you don't want everybody hoarding around dishes. Perfect for setting up your buffet and I know my clients, they really like to entertain. So this can be really good entertainment piece. They do have the granite composite sink with like a 70-30, so it's not the dreaded 50-50 sink. Really nice. And the view from their sink, it's just really nice because Highland puts so many windows everywhere. So I'm super excited about that. Love the granite. Something new in the builder's code now um, at, for 2024. You can't really put outlets in a standalone island. I'm a little bummed out about it, but that's why they had to put um, this little R2D2 looking thing that pops up so you can have an outlet in on this island somewhere. They went with the dual ovens. They went with the uh, Electrolux. So that's gonna be a higher end oven and microwave setup. They also had did a change order and have this built in. So it's really nice that you can change things as you go on to the build process. Good size laundry room. Once again, some custom cabinetry will be put in here. The garage is a three car tandem garage. So lots and lots of space in this garage. Does have the tankless water system right there. And yeah, even if you only need two, car, two cars, you can have all your crap right there or workstation. So I do like these three car tandems because it's just more space. And yeah, when you have a bunch of stuff, a two car garage just doesn't cut it. No need for us to go up in the attic. That would make this video so long. But I do want to show you as much as possible. All right, also coming right off the kitchen, you come down another hallway where you're going to have, that's going to be opening to the uh, master bedroom closet. We'll get to that toward the end of the tour. But in the 216A plan, this is kind of just a storage room. My clients opted to have this converted to a powder room because we have it built from dirt. You can do that. So we have another bedroom. This is a third bedroom tucked away down this part of the house. Once again, tall ceilings up top, big tall windows, and then another closet that will soon have custom cabinetry in it. And it's gonna have its own private bathroom. So you've got your powder room right there for the general public, but this one's gonna have its own private bath. Love the fact they kept the same granite in here and uh, just beautifully done. All right, and I also gotta point out eight foot doors throughout. Um, that's, in my opinion, kind of a must have if you've got a single story home with tall ceilings, it just really does make everything a lot more grand. All right, let's come around here and we're gonna check out the outside area. They've got some really cool plans for this space. I'm excited to see what this is gonna look like when it's fully furnished. And a very, very large living space so you can really do anything you want to in there. And another look at the kitchen from a distance. All right, let's head on outside. They've got a really, really nice sized patio. This house faces west. So as of right now, it is 4.30 on March 20, what is it, 28th, 2024. You can see the shadows starting to creep up. It's not a big deal for now because it's absolutely gorgeous day today. What is it, 75 degrees out? So it's really nice, but come summertime, when you're wanting to do stuff outside this shade on the back porch, it's gonna be really, really nice. I also wanna point out uh, 
the sprinkler systems, they're all purple. And the reason they're purple is because in Esperanza, they have a water caption system that this is gonna be all non-potable water. It just means don't drink it um, for your uh, yard system. And the city water that can be drank is coming into the main house too. So you got two water lines coming in. There is a mud tax in this community. Um, that's why they're able to bring all this stuff into the Texas Hill Country. Just wanna make sure people are aware of that. I wouldn't put the does the community have a mud tax as a deciding factor or whether you want to live. Choose a community that fits your needs best. Let me see if I can walk out here and go with that. So I just wanna make sure people are aware of that Esperanza does have a mud tax, but my God, does it have some amazing amenities and being close to Bernie, Texas is really a huge benefit. And if you want to go to high-end shopping, uh, La Quintera is just a 20-minute drive from here. That's where you got your Neiman Marcus, your Guess, Prada, all those type of stores are right there. And some really nice exotic restaurants. All right, let's head on into the owner's suite, master bedroom, uh, owner spot retreat whatever you want to call it nowadays this is it and it's absolutely gorgeous lots and lots of space love the bump out the giant windows and a crazy tall ceiling so yeah i got windows on all three sides <clears throat> pardon me french doors once again eight foot doors everywhere leading into this and i really like the giant soaking tub, but the really tall mirrors in the light sconces are just super cool. And my clients told me, he's like, yeah, that came standard. So it's awesome that Highland Home has such higher end finishes, especially in this community. <coughs> Pardon me, needs water. Water closet. And I love the fact that you've got two vanities side by side and a makeup counter and notice they got the makeup counter a little bit lower so it really sets up very nicely and those sconces and the tall mirrors just look really good especially with the uh, granite sinks the shower you have a mud inset shower meaning this is kind of cut into the foundation and just beautifully done love how they have it going all the way up top just a really nice, good size shower. And they got the handle close to the door so we can get the water on, let it heat up before you jump into the shower and get sometimes surprised with really cold water. All right, now we're coming back into the master and bedroom closet, which again, like all the other closets, they're gonna have some custom stuff put in here. So right now it's just kind of a big old empty room, but this can be super cool real soon. All right, and that leads out into the hallway. Beautifully done bathroom. Love how deep this soaking tub is. <coughs> Need some water. All right, if you haven't seen my motorcycle tour of this community, I can go ahead and put it up right there. Use my little finger as a marker so I know where, when I'm editing this, where to put it. But it really showcases off this gorgeous community. And like I said before, I've done a video tour of the amenities and just the proximity with downtown Bernie amazing school districts don't trust me on that look it up yourself bernie isd is an amazing school system all right before i wrap up the video tour of this absolutely beautiful home i don't forget forget this gorgeous cooktop by electrolox also this is a six inch six burner cooktop this griddle can be removed but i love this beautiful vent system that they got going up very modern, very classy, and I love the tile work. This herringbone tile, a little glossy, and it goes all the way up to the ceiling. Absolutely love it. And I can't forget the pantry before I finish. All right, here we go. Nice size pantry, very well done. And they got a spice rack put in as well, so extra storage. Really beautiful kitchen, absolutely love it. All right, that's going to do a tour of this gorgeous Highland Homes that my clients just closed on today. Super excited for them. Love the builder, love the community, and they are very happy as well. 
And if you're moving to this area and looking for a real estate agent, remember to click in the description box. You can have everywhere in the world to reach out to me, including a little link to my Calendly app to where you can schedule a phone call or Zoom meeting with me. Anyways, if you don't have a real estate agent, I'd be happy to help you. And believe it or not, it costs my clients nothing to use me as a real estate agent because the builder paid my fees. So make sure you don't go through this process alone. I'll be happy to help. And they got a nice bottle of bourbon as well. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and as always, share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now, <laughs> bye.